Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Lasso tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, the Lasso tool in Adobe Photoshop is a selection tool. Photoshop actually gives us a three variant of Lasso to work with. In the tool panel, you can see here, there are a three type of Lasso tool, which is Lasso tool, which is a standard Lasso tool, Polygon Lasso tool and a Magnetic Lasso tool. By pressing a L from your keyboard, you can select a Lasso tool. For example, right now I am in Move tool. If I am pressing L, it will be automatically select a standard Lasso tool. Now if you want to switch to a Polygon Lasso tool or Magnetic Lasso tool, you have to press Shift plus L from your keyboard. So as you can see, the icon will be changing like it is a Polygon Lasso tool, now it is a Magnetic Lasso tool. So like this, you can interchange your lasso tools. So Photoshop provides a various type of selection tool and the lasso tool is one of them. It helps us in making a freehand selection. Probably the lasso tool is the easiest to use and understand the selection tool in Photoshop. Now this tool is very handy for selecting a small complex area. For example, if I want to select my laptop or I want to select my logo or these uh, ears, eyes or anything from the image, if there is a complex or a small area, then this lasso tool is very useful. So friends, let's see practically how this lasso tool is working and all the properties of lasso tool. And after that, we are going to remove this window from this train footage and exchange that with a real background. So friends, let's do it. So for that, first of all, we have to create one new document. So first I will show you the all properties of lasso tool. So I'm just creating one new document. Lasso tool, fine. So I am creating one new document to show you practically how this lasso tool is working and all the properties of lasso tool. So from here you can activate your lasso tool or you can also press L from your keyboard. Now friends to make a selection we just have to return to the same point with our cursor from where we started and it will make a selection. For example I started my selection from here. Okay, So you need to make sure that you are coming to that start point like this or else what happen I will show you now friends in case you creating this kind of selections and if we release the pointer at any other point the lasso tool will automatically complete the selection by drawing a straight line between the point from where we started and where it ended like this you can see a straight line so I am just show you once again if I am creating one selection like this and if I'm ended over here then it will be fine but if I'm selecting like this and end it from here then it will be creating one straight line from this end to a start like this so friends now we are going to see some properties of this lasso tool okay so friends now I am just creating one random selection like this now we are going to see in the property there are a lots of property first property is new new selection if i want to create a new selection just select this new and once i am creating this shape then my previous selection will be gone okay so i am just creating one new shape like this and friends beside that new you can see a other property which is called add to selections means if you want to add some more selection to this footage then just select the selections and once i am creating these selections over here and as you can see it will be added to my previous selection now the next property is subtract from the selection the name it suggests it will be subtract from the selections so if i don't want this part i am just selecting this part like this and it will be subtract from that previous selections right and the next property is that intersect with selections so it will be intersect with my previous selection for example i am just selecting this part so what happened it will be just selecting the previous part of this area so this is a properties of this lasso tool so friends next is feather so i'm going to this footage and i'm just applying a tan feather fine and i'm just creating a new selection to my photoshop okay i'm just selecting my photoshop text layer and now i am selecting a lasso tool and apply a tan feather okay i'm just selecting this little part of p okay and i'm just copied it 
so as you can see the feather is applied to this particular text so like this you can also apply a feather to a footage as well as text or any object in adobe photoshop for now i am just deleting this and enable my photoshop text so guys this is all about a property so guys thank you so much for this video in the next video we are going to learn a polygon lasso tool in adobe photoshop thank you so much